We first met Tim in Los Angeles um, when he was working on his second studio album, Stories. We just ended up hanging there all night, um, talking and listening to the tracks and gave him feedback on the stuff he was working on at the time. And I think at one point we played some of our stuff that we've been working on and he really loved one idea that was the seed for uh, a song that is out with him called Pure Grinding. We became friends that, that night and continued working after that. My first impression of Tim was probably that he was such a humble and warm person. You could feel that he's, he, he almost saw through you in a way. Yeah. He knew you from the moment you met him, you know? I think that's a skill. We started working on SOS, I think, on the, like the second week we were there. It was the second song we wrote. Yeah. And that was, it just, that was the, the result of many uh, different seeds going, you know, back and forth. And then when we felt we had it, everybody in the room, all of us, just starting, started singing melodies. And, and Tim was very particular with how you sang uh, certain, uh, certain phrases. Yeah, he'd have you sing like one phrase, I remember, like 50 times, just yeah. over and over. And at, oh, yeah. at first, like, we didn't really understand, okay, well, what's, why, why, isn't, uh, why are we repeating this very line? But then, when he finally got it, he was like, okay, now I understand why yeah. he did that. One vocalist that we, that we talked about was Aloe Black. Uh, and um, we ended up having Aloe Black on the track too. Sadly, after uh, Tim uh, passed away, but that was, that was the original idea. And it, it was important for us as well, because that was Tim's vision in a way. And they have a lot of history together since they did um, Wake Me Up. I remember when we when we did Wake Me Up. That was, I mean, that was huge. That was a, a, a moment that defined, I think, the uh, the real impact that he had on music. Yeah, those are no. Yeah, I heard. Not that. afraid to close my eyes. Or yeah, those ones. Yeah. SOS is, I feel, you know, really honored that, that he asked, he asked for me and I feel like SOS was a song that was probably ahead of its time for when he wrote it and he wrote these, these lyrics obviously about some of his his battles um, and I think a really important topic to to approach and to share especially with his visibility um, and his uh, access to ears and hearts to give people the words to be able to say I need help with SOS that song was written in parts and, uh, you know, you can almost tell also when you listen to the song afterwards that it's a verse that's very floating and like open and then the chords gets very tight, not so like, uh, not so much ambience and like wet sounds going on, it's kind of dry. And then the drop comes, which is like pure like party and like good vibes. I remember we were sitting working one night and he pulled up another song that we've been working on and I told him, man, this drop is dope. We should just have this melody for the other song because it's way better. And first he was like, nah, nah, I don't, I don't know about that. But I kind of convinced him and then we tried it and, and then he looked at me and said, ah, oh, okay, oh, 
like, okay, you're, you're right. <laughs> it's such a shock when that melody comes, it's like from nowhere. And it's a really cool, cool addition to the song, so I'm really happy we, we, <laughs> we did that. Precis, det är lite så här teknikens under att så här, vi fick tag på um, hans midi-information. Så det är liksom allt som, spelar. alla instrument som spelas, det är han som spelar. Precis, det är sjukt fett faktiskt när man tänker på det. Hur, hur, hur liksom den möjligheten finns att man kunde någonstans få in hans, hela hans liksom sätt, hans och han tangenterna. På så men... sätt så blir, som sagt, voicingen... Det blir aldrig fel liksom. Nej. Det blir alltid exakt samma som han gjorde det istället för att vi ska re- alltså efterkonstruera någonting. Nej det går inte. Det här är Tims eh, midi-information från när han spelade med den första gången. Så den är alltså identisk med det som han gjorde. Det är egentligen hela droppmelodin. All his notes, all his particulars, everything that you hear on this version was Tim's vision. Tim's vision. 